Hi Taurus, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. Okay, the awareness of the week. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Put these here. So the Two of Pentacles is about finding balance between all of the things that are going on within your life. This is a week for you to be aware of obligations, bills, debts, things to do, activities for the kids, for your parents, for whomever, your ch you know, older children, that you're trying to coordinate and juggle everything. It takes a lot of energy to do so. It also ratches, ratches up the activity level so that you feel that you're very busy, that you may be overwhelmed for some of you. And so the two of pentacles is saying, gosh, you know, I need to be able to prioritize and pull things together so that I don't drop the pentacles. I don't drop the things that I'm supposed to be taken care of. And so with the two of pentacles, when we're looking at twos, we're often thinking about decisions and these decisions have to do with the priorities that we have. So behind this young fella is the rough water and the ships. And it's just a simple message that regardless of good times or bad times, you always are going to have to juggle. You're always going to have to be, have to, um, you know, think about the balance of your life. And so that's where we are with this two of pentacles. So with the two of pentacles, we have the wheel of fortune, major arcana. And with the wheel of fortune, we understand that life is always moving and spinning events are happening. The seasons are changing commitments again, work commitments, family. So between these two cards, you get a real sense of activities of things, a lot of things popping with the wheel of fortune. It's a reminder that sometimes in life, the wheel spins in your favor and sudden changes happen. And it's great. It's a great, um, good fortune that comes to you. Other times the wheel of fortune circumstances change rather quickly and can be dramatically, uh, you know, different. It's a matter of how you react to them. It's a matter of how you let it impact you. Yes, the universe has a divine plan and kind of sets the, the wheel moving in motion here, but you do have a sense of, uh, willpower that you can still control many things. And the one thing you can control is how you react and respond to sudden changes in your circumstance or in your, uh, the routine of your life. So awareness are the things that could be changing. Something could be changing for you. You're working on balance. You may feel that you're very busy and things are hectic this week. So in terms of guidance, gosh, lovely cards. We have the three of cups and we have the four of rods. So the three of cups this week is a week for you to get out with your friends, to have some fun, to raise a glass, to catch up on all the good news that you have to share, to listen, to, um, just let your hair down. So whether this is family, whether this is friends or at the office, um, this is a nice week for you to get out and to enjoy yourself. A social invitation perhaps is coming your way, an opportunity to mingle or to network. Take that opportunity. You never know what good fortune may come your way by meeting new people or being introduced to new people. So if there's a social opportunity, go out there and, and take it. For some of you, 
who were actively dating and trying to find a partner. Maybe you're having a lot of dates. Maybe there's a lot of activity in terms of dating. So the Three of Cups celebrating, having fun. That celebration continues with the Four of Rods. And we see the couple here um, looking up at the beautiful flowers and the, I would call it the portal. And in the distance is the home. And it seems that they're, they're on the path to something new, perhaps, and beautiful. And the Four of Rods or the Four of Wands is about celebrations. And it's about the milestones that we have in life. We, again, we come together as friends and family, and we share in the delight of recognizing this, you know, important event, whether it's a marriage, whether it's an engagement, a baby shower, a retirement, a graduation, or simply a birthday party. It's a matter of coming together, having fun, and for these folks, it's perhaps getting their reward, the reward of, of being known in the community that they're together. So some social pieces for you. This is a week of activity, and this is a week of getting together with people. For some, the four of rods could suggest the possibility of marriage or the possibility of an engagement. But more often than not, I get a sense that it's friends, family coming together celebrating and really recognizing and celebrating either someone or a couple or a family or something like that. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Ninth Major Arcana, the Hermit. So the Ten of Pentacles is about, uh, it's about the family. It's a focus on your family, and it's a focus on the resources for your family. You may be working hard. You may be putting in a lot of time and energy and saving money and investing or taking care of estate matters. The Ten of Pentacles is um, the hope and the desire to take care of all of the generations. You can see the young child, the pet, the, the patriarch, and then the couple, and all of these wonderful pentacles all over. So possible outcomes is that perhaps the family comes together with the celebration and the balance of your life. You're maybe balancing the resources that you have and trying to keep them afloat and to keep them uh, f plentiful in abundance for your family. So possible outcomes, a focus on family resources, property. On a literal level, perhaps you're doing things to beautify your home or to improve the home. So with lots of activity here, here's the hermit. And the hermit is saying, it's okay now to take a step back. It's okay to make some time for yourself and to just kind of take stock of what's going on in your life. What are you doing? What are you up to? You know, how's it going? And looking within, shining the lantern within, taking and carving out time for yourself. And often this is needed after lots of activity after lots of obligations and social activities, people tend to want to just downshift and just say, I need, I need some time for myself. And then you can kind of get a sense of where you are, where you're going, what's coming next, next, but never, it's always a wise move to Give yourself the time to meditate, to walk in nature, to journal, to just sit and relax, to allow your mind and your body to catch up. Very interesting cards for you for the week. A lot of favorable and nice energy. Let's get a sense of an affirmation for the week or a meditation point.
My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So pretty heady, pretty interesting affirmation, which is, you know, my outer experiences, and perhaps it's how one reacts to the outer experiences that reflects how we're doing on the inside. So, you know, maybe, maybe you've been under stress a bit and you're trying to keep things together and then something happens and uh, maybe there's an impulsive response. You know, sometimes we just can't hide what's inside. It does come out or you're feeling such joy and it just releases. And that's a great thing, of course, but You know, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. The internal condition uh, is the engine that drives us. And so now I'm going to choose an oracle card for love. Peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So balance, here we see balance. Kindness, kindness to me really does show through when you are social and loving and caring with your friends. And finding the peace within your soul is the reflection really from the hermit. So Virgo, this is what I have for you the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share this video, video, and comment below. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.